Hey everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Last week I spent several days shooting with film recipes, film simulations on my Ricoh GR3, and some people asked me to try out some more simulations, so I thought I would do that this week. I picked three new recipes and I wanna show you my results. These are all coming from the Ricoh Recipes app, which is free on the Apple App Store, and you can download it. But I've also included the recipes and all the sample shots on my website, uh, and you can get the recipes on there if you don't have the app. But of course, credit to Rico Recipes app for providing the information. The recipes I'm gonna try this week are Retro Print, Kodak Slide, and Analog Film. If you missed last week's video and you wanna check out those recipes, there's a link in the description. Also, if you wanna learn how to input one of these recipes into your Rico GR3, I'll put a link to my video on that as well. So let's just jump in. The first recipe I shot with was called Retro Print, and it's a modification of Rico's pre-installed retro profile. And I shot with this recipe for three days under a blanket of clouds, and I determined that I was gonna continue for a fourth day in hopes that the sun would come out, but no such luck. I found I really enjoyed the subtle color palette on the nighttime shots, but I ended up throwing away probably 50% of the daylight images that I took. In my personal opinion, the daylight images, the landscape shots, they were just kind of flat, didn't have a lot of character, and the photos that I took in town, they, they also just kind of felt lifeless. Now, I guess if you're going for a melancholy look, you know, this might be something that you're, you're really into, but for me, it wasn't what I was going with, and I, I didn't personally enjoy it a whole lot. Now, that said, I really did enjoy a, a couple of the shots. You'll see the seashell shots, seashell shots <laughs> in the gallery. And this was the first film recipe that I had tried that gave me pleasing skin tones because most make people look like an Oompa Loompa. So hopefully I'll get a chance to try this one again when the sun decides to make an appearance and I have a feeling I would like it a lot more in better lighting. The next recipe was called Kodak Slide and I'm assuming that this simulation got its name from Slide Film or E6 Kodak Film, but I don't have a lot of experience in the film photography game so I can't say for sure. But either way, I renamed this to my personal liking. I renamed it Death by Yellow. <laughs> the, the, the yellows and the oranges produced by this simulation are, they're not for the faint of heart. It, now, if you like warm photos, this might be your jam, but if you like natural colors, this one's probably gonna be a little bit overpowering. If I'm honest, it kind of makes it look like the Earth is a million miles closer to the sun than it actually is, almost like an otherworldly, super warm look. And to be honest, I kind of liked it in some circumstances. In my opinion, this is a recipe that's best suited for shooting outdoors because I think in the natural light, the colors diffuse nicely and they don't overwhelm, but indoors, it tends to just produce this orange, super yellow, unpleasant kind of like mess of oversaturation, at least in my house and the places that I shot. There's a, some photos of the gym there but it could depend on, on the color temperature of your lighting as well, so keep that in mind. I enjoyed using the simulation more than I actually initially expected to, but it's not one that I would necessarily keep saved on my custom mode dial all the time. And then finally, the last one, analog film. This features the well-beloved color combination of orange and teal that's so popular in presets and in movies. Now, without a question, this was my favorite recipe of the three that I tried this week, and it was probably my favorite recipe of the eight or nine total that I've tested so far. But that opinion needs to be taken with a grain of salt because this week's best lighting fell on the days when I shot this film simulation. And if I had had the same lighting conditions when shooting Kodak Slide or the Retro Print especially, I suspect that my opinion of them would probably rise. Now, I wouldn't necessarily call the colors natural on the simulation because it's clear that it gives the sky kind of a turquoise synthetic look, but they're close enough for me not to be offended by them. To be honest, it's hard to make an ugly image if you're shooting a well-lit scene with the simulation, but shooting in the shadows, I found, it gets a little muddy, and I didn't enjoy it as much. So if you've got a sunny day, shoot this one. I would avoid it if uh, it was a cloudy day like I had earlier in the week. 
So those are my results. Just a quick video this week because Christmas is in a week and I know everyone's busy with the holidays and, and I am as well. So I hope you enjoyed those. I would say that I've really enjoyed this as a creative challenge is going out and shooting JPEGs with the baked in film simulations. It gives me a new perspective, especially when I'm shooting the same city. I haven't been able to travel a whole lot, so I've been in the same place. So mixing it up a little bit has, has been nice. Let me know down in the comments which was your favorite shot and which was your favorite film simulation. My favorite shot is this one of the seashells on the beach shot with the analog film. I may have another short video next week. Next week is basically Christmas. So I, I think I'm going to try to do a monochrome version of the simulations. I had some requests for that in the comments. So watch out for that. I might get it done. I might not because my parents are coming to visit. But I hope everyone has a happy holiday and Merry Christmas to all of you and Happy New Year. And uh, I hope this year is full of blessings for you.